Hey guys, welcome to Facebook Live 2.0 in the media room. Uh, we have an Instagram, hi Instagram. So sort of Facebook Live, I don't know what we can call it for you. We need to come up with a name for you Instagrammers. Some of you like that, I know. So you have Jill today, hi. We're gonna be doing a awesome leprechaun painting over here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to draw this out first. You might be able to see my pencil drawing on here. I just wanna make sure that you all can see this. I'm gonna go over it in Sharpie and then just paint right over my Sharpie. So everyone use pencil, pencil to draw it out. And then all you will need today is paint or watercolors. If you're gonna be at home watching this later on guys, you can totally do this on paper. You will need a skin tone color or you can do white with a little bit of orange. That works too. Uh, white, yellow, green, orange, and black. Those are the only colors you need. And then whatever material you want to use to make this work. All right, friends. First things first. I'm going to use my Sharpie. I'm going to outline my nose first. So our nose, we just want it to be like a decent sized oval, kind of just above the middle of your paper or whatever surface you're working on. So just above the middle. And then we're going to work on the mustache, not the mustache, it's the part that's covering his eyes. So this is why he can't see his eyes. Is think of like an upside down smiley face. So we're just gonna do two sides of an upside down smiley face there. And then one more at the top of it just to give him that full hairline. So we've got this part right here. It kind of looks like your thumbnail, right? Your thumbnail. You got a big thumbnail and then an oval right here. Next, we're gonna do his beard. The beard comes down and we're just gonna give it a couple points here at the bottom and then pull it up to the other side. So next, we're gonna do our hat. This is my favorite part. So we're gonna give him a really fun looking um, hat uh, part. What do you call this, Matt? Brooke's still working, honey? Yeah, Brooks is still going. That's all right. right. So Instagrammers, it's all up to you. Oh. So we're gonna do the lip here of the hat. It's just gonna come out like this on the, from the top part there of his head. And then we're gonna have the mushroom kind of part of his head where it makes the entire top hat because we gave him a top hat. So this part just comes all the way out and around. Make sure that where you place it, it kind of gives him just enough space there where his head shape would be. So on his hat, we also have a buckle. Buckles are super, super easy. All you have to do is a square, like so. This is kind of more like a rectangle, but that's fine. And then another one inside that's just smaller. This is gonna be, the height of this line right here is gonna be the line of where the strap is that's on his hat. And this just comes over from the sides, like so. So as of right now, friends, we have our nose, the hair in his head that's poking out from the side of his hat, it's blocking his eyes, and we have a beard. So our beard is really fun, it's got nice little points. Next, we're gonna do the body, the little bit of the body that's in there, and then the pot of gold that he is coming out of, because he's a leprechaun. Leprechauns don't like pots of gold, right? I would like one too, actually. So for his body, it's just coming down from the side of his beard here. And then next we're gonna do our pot of gold. I like to do the inside lip first. All this is is just going all the way across his torso, connecting to the other side. And the pot of gold is super easy. We have the lip of the pot, and then the base where the majority of his body, his legs, his feet are going to be inside of. Alrighty. And then we have the feet of the pot as well. You can do, I'm just doing circles because it's a lot easier. You can do something more fancy if you want to. Up to you. Alrighty. So next on our leprechaun is his arms and his hands. 
Hands are super easy. They are just a circle attached to the top of the sleeve. So all we're doing with these arms is just bringing them out from the side of the body here. And they're just two, not super thin arms, but they're just sticking out just from the side. Like so. And then his hands are just two ovals up top. Nothing fancy. And if you want to do something really fun with his sleeves, I like doing just stripes. So I'm just going to put my stripe lines in. And then when I paint this, I'm going to interchange between white and green. All right, and last but not least, friends, we have the clovers up top. Um, just in case anyone who is logging on now or can see this now, we have our nose roughly in the middle of our canvas. So this would be a decent sized oval. And then we have the hairline. It kind of looks like a thumbnail um, just up top of that nose. And then we're going to have our facial hair, the beard, coming in from there. You want to just go down at least about seven inches or so, six inches, depending. And we've got the body in on the sides. And then our pot of gold. If you want to do some yellow dots here at the end to make your gold, you're welcome to. Right? And then we also have the hat. So the hat is super easy. He's just wearing a super simple top hat. You've got the lip of the hat coming from the side of his head, and the mushroom, the top part of his hat, just coming up from there. And then we've got our buckle with the belt part in around his hat for some decoration. And then our arms with I don't know, our arms with our circle hands because we don't need anything fancy for this. And then next we've got some clovers here up top. So you can do clovers a couple different ways. I'm going to show you guys how to do this in the back real quick. Don't flip over your paper. So you can do this either where it's a three-leaf clover. It's just hearts that are attached to each other, like so. Or you can do a four-leaf clover. This one is a little harder to fit in, but they are a bit bigger. But they look really, really cool. So you can do either or. Remember when you do those. We are going to draw in our clovers. So I've got a few. Mine's kind of look like if our little dude here is making some uh, St. Patrick's Day magic and is like floating them in the air. He might be magical, you never know. Right, so we're just going to keep drawing these guys in. I'm just going to keep tracing these clovers. So I'm not going over my pencil line, so if you guys see like a weird fade out there, that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Right, so just keep drawing some of these clovers up around him, around his head. Make it look like he's doing some magic. magic and floating them in the air. Right. Okay friends, so I'm going to go over this one more time before we start painting. I no longer need my Sharpie or if you are done at this point as well, you no longer need your drawing utensil, whichever one you are using. Um, 
So what we did first, just to go over this with everyone, is our nose, it's roughly in the middle of the um, drawing space that I'm using, correct? And then we have his facial hair, which just comes up just above his nose there. It's right attached to it up at the top. It's basically covering his eyes, so he does not have eyes in this picture, which is okay. Um, it is in the shape of a thumbnail. And then his beard just comes down from the side of the hair coming off of his head there. And then we have a couple points here at the bottom. If you wanted to just do one swooping point or make it kind of curly, it's up to you. Um, and then his body is just coming from the sides. Nothing fancy with his body. And then we have the pot of gold. So the pot of gold is just the uh, lip here of the pot. And then we have the outside lip drawn in. It's just more like a tube coming around from the side. We have the main basin of the pot and then its feet. I just want the circles. It's the easiest thing to do. Don't need anything fancy. And then last but not least, for our leprechaun for his body, we have his arms. So his arms are just coming up from the side of his head. He looks like he's waving them in the air a little bit. And his arms just come out from the side and his hands are ovals as well. Nothing crazy. Don't put fingers in there. It's too hard. I can't even do it. If you want to, go for it. But I want something simpler today. And then last on our leprechaun, my favorite part is the top hat. We have the lip of the hat and then the mushroom part up top here where we have a nice buckle. The buckle is super easy. It's just a square with a small square on the inside where that top line is, is what makes the strap on the hat to finish off the buckle. And then last but not least is our clovers that we've got floating in the sky. To draw one is very, very easy. All you have to do is just a stem and then each clover uh, leaf is just a heart and they're all attached to each other. All right, friends, now for the fun part. Super excited, we get to paint. If you are doing this at home, guys, later on, you can use whatever materials you want. Watercolors will work well, crayons, markers. If you have pastels, pastels are great. If you wanna just draw them out and leave it there, that works too. But today I get to paint. So I am using, I've got a skin tone color. We have white, yellow, green, orange, and black. If you don't have a skin tone color or don't know how to do it, I recommend just doing, um, if you're doing crayons, just doing a really, really, really light coloring of orange that'll work really, really well. Um, if you're doing watercolors, same as well. Just keep really, really faint, lots of water added to that color. All right, you guys ready? I'm so excited. So I'm gonna do my face parts first, so anything that's the skin tone color. I have a skin tone color here already. I'm just gonna use this and color in his nose first. If I'm covering any of my Sharpie, that is okay. I am gonna do a black outline. At the very end, hopefully everything is dry. All right. And then same for his hands. We're gonna go just over the hands. Right, and then we got his last hand. We don't need too much of this color, which is really nice. All right, friends, if you hear any weird feedback noise, we have an outlet in the room that we're in that we're trying to get to use. So if you hear any radio noise, that's what it's from. Don't worry about it. All right, next, I definitely want to paint in his beard. And that's just straight orange, nothing crazy. Just painting my brush really good. All right, so I've got some orange paint here. I am gonna just paint over the Sharpie lines. I don't need them really to be there. I know what my drawing is. So when I do the black outline later, I can easily just recreate the line. Plus, I can still faintly see it. Right. 
So if anyone is watching, especially later on or even now, if you guys have any questions, I guess feel free to ask, especially on Instagram. I think that's working. Yep, Instagram is working. How's Facebook looking, Matt? Excuse me? How's Facebook going? No. <laughs> that's okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's been a day, guys. It's been a day. Everything's great. <laughs> Everything's great. Just keep All going. right. Great. So we are just painting in our beard here. I'm using orange. All right. I'm just going to do both sides here. This is the only part that has orange. But it's really nice because it's just super bright and super vibrant. Say, um, what would the word be? Fun facts to look up to in a second here. So I'm just going to finish finish his beard. We're going to paint his body real quick. That part is super easy and super fun because we get to mix colors. I'm so excited. I like the how the orange and green contrast against each other. Yes, it's I'm excited to see it. So pop of color. Yeah, that's Brooke, guys. If you can't tell, she's another fabulous artist. All right, so all we need to do for his body is take some green paint and some yellow. All right, I just want like a nice, limey kind of green. There we go. All righty. So we got some nice lime green here. We don't need too much, which is awesome. All we're doing is just taking this color and painting in his body so i'm going around his beard really really carefully Alrighty. and then using my the point end of my brush to try to get in between that beard and not blend in my beard and my green shirt color going on Probably make like a fun brown if we did. So just finishing up with this body. We're already on the other end. This part is super quick. So we are going to use a lime green color again for the shamrocks when we get out there. That way we have some difference in color. So I'm gonna do some fun facts, guys, about St. Patrick's Day real quick. Give you some time if you need a finished drawing. So, okay, so this is not super fun, but this is a fact. St. Patrick's Day is an Irish national holiday with, with banks, stores, and businesses closing for the entire day. So there's nothing open basically for an entire day, maybe besides restaurants. Um, the first St. Patrick's Day celebration in the United States was held in Boston in 1737. So fun fact, there is like a huge population of Irish, of Irish um, people, I guess, in Boston, like massive, it's crazy. Um, let's see, let's do one more. Okay. Obviously shamrocks are the national flower or emblem of Ireland. That one's pretty basic, I think. Ooh, this is cool. No one will probably believe this. The original color of St. Patrick's Day was originally blue. Why? Wearing green has become a staple of St. Patrick's Day, but the holiday was originally associated with color blue. 
It's, the, it's thought that the shift to green happened because of Ireland's nickname, the Emerald Isle. Huh. Yeah. That makes sense because Emerald is kind of a mix between yes, blue and green. Yes, exactly. So. And if you've ever been, a lot of their country, their landscape is very um, emerald color. They have bluey, bluey greens, a lot of it. Mm. Interesting. It's a really cool place to go to. Lots of really good food. You've been? I have been, yes. Cool. It's one of the coolest places ever to go to, honestly. Yeah, it's definitely on my list. I highly recommend it. It is fantastic. Uh, the culture, the people, the food, everything is wonderful. The landscape, all their architecture, the way the little towns look, it's wonderful. Highly recommend it. It's one of the coolest places to go to. All right, friends, so I'm going to keep with this green going on. I'm going to do the green in my hat first, and then the green in the sleeves, and then we'll finish off with the hat and then move on to our shamrocks and our pot of gold at the very, very end. So for our hat, it's just gonna be basic green, nothing mixed into it. I kinda of want this to be a good difference between the lime green and the basic green that we've got going on. So we're just gonna paint this entire hat here besides the buckle and the strap. Everything will be green. So friends on Instagram, if you know any fun facts, let us know about Ireland or leprechauns. Have you ever seen one? I've seen The Luck of the Irish. The movie? On Disney Channel. That is a good one. I like that one. Me too. <laughs> what is that, right? That's because like his family is Irish and they, they're descendants of leprechauns or something, right? Yeah, so he starts turning into one. Like, yeah. Right? Yeah. And he's like a basketball player, so it's really funny because he just gets shorter and shorter and shorter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, friends, we're doing such a good job. We're just painting in this hat here. So I am not going to paint the buckle or the strap. That part's going to be two different colors. So I'm going to do green for the lip of the hat. Right here. Right. So this part is, I love the hat. The hat's probably my favorite part. Coming along nicely. All right, so I've got two stripes of green. Now let's do the same on the other side. And then we are going to paint the other stripes in white as well, just to help make it look more uniform. We're not painting the background. Background stays as is. So all our hard work only goes towards our leprechaun. done. I am going to clean my brush and just grab some white paint. If you are doing um, color pencils or pastels or markers or crayons, don't worry about painting it in white. It's going to look the same, I promise. 
I'm just painting in white because the white paint is just a little bit different than this board that I'm painting on. Ooh, brush. Right, so we just need a little bit of white here. And we're gonna paint in these sleeves. Super easy, nothing fancy. Just give it a good swipe of color. when you go to paint them in you have lime green mixed up as well because we are going to do two different greens. Okay next I want to do the yellow for the buckle on his hat. So it's just super easy just painting in those spaces. Right. strap on the hat and our um, pot of gold. Remember, if you want to at the pot of gold, when we're done with the entire picture and do some yellow circles there to make some gold, you're welcome to. Our guy's a little thick and he completely covers the entire pot, so I might not be able to put any pot of gold in there. Any gold, gold coins. <laughs> Bummer. Oh, he's, he's not that lucky of a lot of problems. <laughs> All right, friends, so just black paint. Black paint covers just about everything, so be careful when you are coloring something in and outlining that space. You don't want to go outside the lines too much because it will cover any of the paint. So our hat is officially done. Last but not least, we get to use this black just to paint in the entire pot of gold. This part is easy because it's just a bunch of paint and you're coloring it in. Again, try not to paint on your leprechaun if you can help it. Alright 
Petras. We are nearly there. The spot's looking really good. This part's super easy. Just one color. Call it a day. But not least is our feet. Alrighty, so these are just ovals. Paint them in as best you can. Mines are a little wonky. I think they keep getting bigger and bigger. They're totally crooked, but that's okay. It happens. <laughs> Can't tell. No, nope, can barely tell. All right. Last, this is my favorite part to color in. They do take a little bit longer, so I have two brushes. I have my one big brush, and I've got a smaller brush. I'm going to use my smaller brush for this part just to help make it easier to stay in those lines. I'm just going to use some more yellow here to make some more of this limey green color. And I might flip my painting upside down so it's easier for me to reach. <laughs> I'm short. Sorry. Actually, no, we can just do this. Can you, will you still see it if I lower it? Uh huh. Magic. Woo! <laughs> now we don't have to rotate. So I'm just going to use this little brush just to help paint in these nice little shamrocks, clovers, four leaf clovers, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to paint these in. So I'm going to do a couple lime green flavors. So if you need help making it, it's just green and yellow. If you want to make it more paler, you can add white. That'll work too. If you want a Jerry's hot pink, go for it. If I wasn't painting them green, they'd probably be purple. Or blue. Ah, we just learned that new fact. So if you guys are just signing on now, we just we did learn a little bit ago that the original color to St. Patrick's Day was blue, not green. Fun facts. <laughs> so I'm just going to paint in a couple of these with this lime green color and then use the regular green for the rest. And then after this, we have outlining and then we're done. Right, friends. We're all doing great. We've got the luck of the Irish with us. <laughs> of this leprechaun, at least. So I did learn I am part Irish. No way. Learned that, yeah. Um, yeah. On my side. tan skin <laughs> on my dad's side. Wow. My dad is part Irish. He's like 25% Irish. I don't know how that happened. Wow. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> Ready. So we're just painting this in. I'm going to do one more with this lime green color and then we'll paint the last ones in straight green. No mixtures. As is. All right. Ooh, that's close one. Plate almost floated off the table. Ooh. 
So I'm not going to worry about cleaning my brush because it's just straight green. I pretty much just used it for the same color. So we're just going into these other shamrocks for these clovers or clovers, whichever. I'm painting the rest in green. Alrighty. So the last the last thing we have to do guys for this painting is to outline everything in black. So that part you want to take your time. If you're using markers, the markers are, why did I just grab black? The markers will do really well. Crayons, you could probably use a Sharpie over it if you wanted to. Pastels, you can outline with the black. If you are using pastels, watercolors, I recommend just using a Sharpie that you did not outline before. Whatever works. I almost grabbed the black again. <laughs> so we're talking about black and then I actually grab black when I need green. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean my brush. And I almost did it again. Alright. Last few to paint in. Dokey. Two more friends, two more. I might give you a couple more fun facts. Let this dry a little bit. And then we'll outline. Alrighty. Last stem. And we are done with that part. All right, friends, so just about right now, everything is painted in. So all we have to do is outline in black. I am going to give a couple more uh, fun facts about St. Patrick's Day real quick, though. Let's see what else I can find. These are fun. Um, that one is not an appropriate one. Ooh. Uh, legend says that each leaf of the clover has a meaning, hope, faith, love, and luck. So if you ever find one, keep it and never get rid of it. Uh, 1962 marked the first time Chicago dyed their river green for St. Patrick's Day. So actually a lot of main cities do pick that have a river going through them do dye that river green. I know they do that in Miami, Florida. They do it in Chicago. They do it in Boston. It happens in New York. Really fun to see. Um, ooh, shamrock shakes are also very popular and tasty. Do you guys know where you can get a shamrock shake? Right now, I think. Chick-fil-A. Everybody loves Chick-fil-A. Do you guys have that, the shamrock shake at Chick-fil-A? What? Have you ever had that, the shamrock shake at Chick-fil-A? No, but I've heard of it. Is it good? Yes, apparently it's good. What flavor is it? It's like mint. It's not my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of mint. I think it's gross, but that's just me. Yeah, it's um, going to be mint. It should be mint chocolate chip. Yes, I agree. I fully agree. <laughs> so we got a couple artists here, guys. They're kind of hanging out in the background, so I might be asking them questions. All right, so last but not least, friends, is outlining everything in black. So I've got my smallest brush, just some black paint, and I'm going to start off exactly where I started off with my drawing because I want to make sure what I'm doing is dry. So we're just going to outline his nose. Then we're going to do his hair. All right, friends. So my lines are not perfect, but that's okay. My hands keep shaking. It's going to be one of those days. All right, we've got one side. We've got our other side. his eyes. A lot of you have asked me before, why does he doesn't have eyes? That's why. His hair. He needs a haircut. Right. 
pull back down so his hair is done. Now we're going to do his beard. feel free to ask if you have any ideas for another media show or mocha show project not mocha show I'm sorry facebook live project or instagram live this is awesome too let us know we'd love to hear your feedback so we're just going to finish this guy off and then we're done Last 
last five guys, and we're out of here. Almost there, friends. You're all doing great. Remember, you can do this in whatever art supplies you have. Anything will work. If you have something that you like to use more, use that. I like paint. I like to do a lot of watercolors when I'm at home. So that's probably where I gravitate towards. But you can use markers, sharpies, pastels, watercolors, markers, regular paint. Um, crayons. Crayons work really well. Even if you have like washable markers, guys, those are fantastic. You can use those. If you've got like super markers, like the awesome art markers, use those too. Whatever you want. But that is it, my friends. This is our leprechaun. Someone has to comment a name for him because I've actually never named him. So Lenny. Lenny. Oh, Chrissy says Lenny. I love it. Lenny. So this is Lenny the Leprechaun. Woo! We have finished. Ooh, no. I take it back. One more thing. I forgot it. We have our last little detail line. Oh. White paint. White paint. Clean brush. And all we're doing is just to follow our lip line on the pot. And that is it, guys. That's officially it. So Lenny the Leprechaun is officially done. Feel free to ask questions, guys. We're always here. We will always answer any supplies you want to use. Remember, and this is your Leprechaun. You don't even have to do them these colors. Whatever you like, guys. All right? Have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Bye. Woo!